Hey, welcome back, you guys. Today's project is this game table. This is so much fun, not just to play on, but to make it. And it's so much less expensive and so much simpler than you might think. The very first thing we're going to do is cut six identical pieces to this. This is a two by four. I've cut it at 26 and a half inches long, but notice that the edges are cut at a 30 degree angle on both sides. That's really easy to do on the miter saw just like this. Connect each one of the joints together with some two inch wood screws. Now we're gonna take this frame and we're gonna lay it down on the top of a sheet of three quarter inch plywood. And then we're going to mark all the way around it with a pencil. Now we're just gonna cut this piece out using a circular saw. Take that piece you just cut out and put it right on top of your frame. Then we're going to screw it in with some wood screws. When the screws are in, flip it over. Now take some of that leftover plywood and cut it into four and a half inch strips. Put that along one of the sides. We're gonna cut it to fit that side exactly and the end is gonna be cut at 30 degrees just like we did before. Add a little glue to the joints and then shoot this in with brad nails. This plywood has a nicely sanded face to it. You can see the grain is really beautiful there, but it's only a quarter inch thick. Lay that face down, and then we're going to put the table face down on top of that. Then mark around it on the plywood. Then just cut that shape out, and you'll end up with a shape like this. Measure in nine inches and draw a straight line on each side. Now we're gonna cut out that middle shape. And make sure you use a guide to get these cuts nice and straight. Be really careful not to overcut those lines. Do the last little bit of the corners by hand. And there we go. So let's flip it over and just make sure everything looks good. Use some sandpaper if you need to to clean things up a little bit. Now put that piece on the tabletop and make sure everything lines up. Now we're going to use a pencil to mark the inside. Take some batting and cut it to fit right inside that center hexagon that we just marked. Make sure to leave it about three quarters of an inch from the line. A little bit of spray adhesive will make this batting stick where we want it to. I've chosen vinyl because it's easier to clean and I have kids and I expect this to get dirty. You're gonna staple it down on one side and then pull it nice and tight on the other side. Go ahead and put the finished piece back on the top and let's line it all up again. Tack it down. I'm using what's called a pin nailer. For the base, we need to start off with a hexagon piece just like this, 26 inches across. If you have trouble measuring out a hexagon, here's an easy way to do it. Just lay a scrap piece of wood on top of the table that you've already made and measure in evenly from each side. For the main part of the base, out of a sheet of plywood, cut these four pieces. Now stand those pieces up and screw them together in a square shape just like this. Center the box on the base hexagon and then mark it with a pencil. Just on the inside of these lines that you've drawn, we're gonna make some pilot holes. These holes are so we know where to put the screw when we attach it to the box. Now flip the box over and put the hexagon bottom plate on top, but turn that plate upside down so you can line up the lines that you just drew. Now we're going to use those holes that we drilled to know exactly where to put the screws. Now it's time to make the cap for the base. This is the part that goes right on top of the base and slides down just like that. And the tabletop will sit right on top of this. In order to make this, you're going to need these pieces of wood right here. We're going to build this the exact same way we just did with the base. This one is just a little bit different size. With the tabletop upside down, take the base cap, turn it upside down, and put it right in the center of the table. And then we're going to screw it together. If you want cup holders, drill the appropriate size hole. For along the edge of the table, I have these pine boards that I'm going to use as trim. I'm going to put them right here and cut them at 30 degrees, just like we did before. This pine board is going to be used as trim along the bottom and along the corners going up and down. Make sure you get all the dust off before we apply the stain. And there's one last thing I'm going to do before I put the clear coat on. 
I have these little trim pieces. They're really small, about a quarter inch thick. You can find these on the shelf at your home improvement store. I stained them at the same time I stained everything else. Remember, 30 degree cuts. Tack them down with some pin nails and you're ready to go. Do not use a foam brush. Use a good bristle brush. And that's it, we're done. As you can see, I designed this to go together simple, fast, and cheap, but to look more complicated and expensive. Chances are you could do this no problem in one weekend. If you're advanced at woodworking, not counting for the drying time, you could get this in a day. The project details are on my website. Thank you for liking, following, or subscribing.